Hi, welcome to the Handy Guys Podcast. Today I want to talk about John Deere. Why? Because we recently had the opportunity to visit a John Deere factory in Horicon, Wisconsin that's over 100 years old and still making deer. That's right. They, this is where they make their 300, 500, 700 series tractors. They do all the decks there. The ZTRs as well. The, right, those new Easy Track models. So we got to see the whole process from beginning to end. So the reason we were interested in this was because these are the mowers we actually right. have, a 100 series mower. Uh, we use these, these are residential lawn mowers. These right. are not, they don't make farming equipment right. or anything like that. We didn't see the combine production. <laughs> Although I might want to see that someday. But. Right. So it was really neat. We got to see a traditional a factory that's been updated and modernized, but yet the building, the structure, the bones are over 100 years old. That's right. So let's give out our contact information and then we'll give a little intro right, to what we saw. Check us out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, we're, we down produce... Here. Yeah, down here, right there. <laughs> Please subscribe. There you go. Not many people get to tour an American factory. They're kind of becoming a rarity now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought all production had moved over to China. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? <laughs> we saw these things starting from, you know, hunks of steel and bins of parts, rolling off the end, fully built, ready to go. Right, and keep in mind that there are rumors floating around that the 100 series mowers that you see at some of your big box stores. Right, that orange store yeah, and that blue store. Yeah, right. that they're made overseas. They are not. They're made at a different plant, but in Tennessee. That's right. This plant made to 300 series and up models. And up, right. <clears throat> and the easy track, like right. we said in the intro. Exactly. So, what was neat to see is the more modern assembly line techniques on some models and some older assembly line techniques on older models but what really um, touched me was the uh, you know the American worker in there and the commitment they have to John Deere and the way everyone felt expressed to us that they were part of a family that was right really neat. and anyone on the line at any stage anywhere can stop the line for any reason if they don't think something is right that's right they see someone else earlier on missed putting in a part, they press the button, they say, hey, what's going on here? And they get it resolved. Now, I remember, Brian, uh, so you know, we're looking at innovation. So what's very interesting about the products that they're making at John Deere is they are coming out with new product lines all the time. Right. Their new 700 series of tractors has this auto, oh, when yeah. it picks up the deck automatically and releases it. Auto not automatically, but it, you don't have to get under and release all kinds of Exactly, it's like a drive over deck. So that when you want to, if you want to take that deck off and use the tractor for other things, maybe even some ground engaging implements, you can take that deck off without lifting it. They, it it's a pretty big deck on that uh, high end model. Right. So it's innovative company. They make quality products, and they're built right in Wisconsin, or in the case of the 100 series in Tennessee. Tennessee. Yep, that's it. So those are some of the items you might want to consider if you're looking at a mower. All right, well thank you John Deere for uh, giving us the tour.